All right, to the audience, first of all, yesterday, as an into activity for this short story called the UPO question, we did a KWL chart. I won't elaborate and waste time on that, but this is what we completed in regard to the decade, the 1950s, in which this story was written in which, and also in which it occurred. So today we're gonna to focus on a through activity uh, focused over here, okay? Good morning, everyone. Here's what we're going to do today. Yesterday, as you recall, we did our KWL chart on the 1950s. We completed that over here. We also did a little bit of a background check with the author of this short story we're going to begin today. His name's Kurt Vonnegut. So we've got that. You've got that in your information in your notebooks. Today, we're going to focus on the story itself. We're going to begin reading it, and we're going to start by doing a few things. I'm going to provide you a study guide which has some advanced vocabulary in it, some key words that are important to the story. We're going to try to figure out what those mean, and we'll actually find out what they do mean and the importance to the story. And uh, we're also going to uh, do some reading in class of the story, get you going on that. And we're going to, you're going to do it independently as well and uh, do some annotation, which we've been doing on other uh, short stories. So if we could start first of all, by having a representative from each table go to the back table and get a study guide, one for yourself and one for your teammates, please. Go. All right, so they've gotten their study guides. All right, you'll see the first section has six vocabulary words on it. I want you to first of all look at those and get with your partner and try to make a prediction on what you think they might mean. I realize that many of those are unfamiliar to us. That's the point, okay? So compare and then, then uh, figure out what you think they might mean. And I want to give you three minutes on that. All right, go. So they've had three minutes. All right, now you've got all those predicted, right? Now we're going to find out how you did on your predictions. So look them up. You've got dictionaries and you've also, you can use your phones. I don't care how you do it, but if you're using your phones, make sure you're using your phones for this, okay? I'll give you three minutes on that. Let's see what the actual definitions are. Go. All right, how did you do on your predictions? Are they pretty close? Okay, we'll look for those words as we be begin our reading. So here's what we're going to do now. You've got the short story, the UFO question. I'm going to read the first part aloud while you follow along. And as I'm reading, look out for the things that we've been annotating in other stories, figurative language, unfamiliar words, things like that. You probably will have some questions, hopefully some predictions. So let's go, let's begin. And I will begin reading the story, all right? So what did you see, what did you hear in there? Anything, what did you annotate? I would have the students volunteer uh, what unfamiliar words, what figurative language, what predictions. Do you have any, any, uh, any questions, any predictions? All right, here's what I wanna do. I want us to get with our part, with a partner, and we're gonna use the stand up, hand up, pair up format to do it. We've done that before. So everybody stand up, hand up, and pair up with someone that's not at your table. Okay, good, good. Now, I want you to, with your partner, come up with a question you have based on what we've read so far and a prediction that you can make about the story. Okay? I'll give you three minutes to do that, go. All right, so you've each got a question, you've each got a prediction. Okay, let's write some of them down up here. To the audience, then I would come up here and I would write down as they offer those uh, predictions and questions, I would uh, compile a class list. So we're gonna keep track of this. I'm gonna take a photo of it so that we can come back to this and see how we did once we fi uh, finish the story, okay? All right. So our homework for tomorrow's class, because we're gonna discuss this entire story tomorrow. Our homework is for you to read the rest of it and to complete the study guide, because the study guide is going to be the basis for our discussion. And we need to have a good discussion tomorrow. So in order to do that, you need to be prepared. Do the reading and complete the study guide. All right, any questions on that? Very good, you're out of here.